How can we maximize our learning experience? So there are a couple of things here that I want to discuss. First thing, it starts with self-awareness. For those of you who have taken classes, think about this. Have you ever gone back, especially if you've been, if you've advanced from beginner level, for example, have you ever gone back to take a beginner, a beginner class and then felt like, ah, this is so basic. I know all of this already. Think about it yourself. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. Uh, if you want to share your thoughts and your experience, feel free to add it into the chat. The reason I ask that is because there's a difference between true self-confidence and overconfidence. And I think that many times, especially dancers who have progressed from a beginner level to intermediate, advanced, professional, performance teams, whatever the case may be, there is like an inflated sense of self in those situations where you think you know it all. And what we know, I would say, is just a fraction of the knowledge and information that's out there. Even if you have been doing it for a long time, even if you've gotten to a professional status of teaching and performing and all of those things and you're getting paid to do it, it's, you still have just a fraction of that knowledge. And if you can understand that, you might be able to go into a classroom setting to absorb more. I'm going to give you another personal example, a recent person ex personal experience. So I was at a social uh, in New Jersey, Picante Social. An instructor was there, Franklin Diaz. I'm not sure how many of you know him. Really great instructor. He's been around, I think, longer than I have. Okay. He is a fantastic dancer, very creative, very unique in, in how he moves and how he dances. And he has a lot of, uh, how can I say it? creative, unconventional movements. And he does them really, really well. So he was giving this workshop. I was there early because I went with my friend, um, the DJ who has to go and set up. So we were there very, very early. And he, frankly started his class. And I'm in there th with an open slate, as Gita mentioned, right? I'm in there as, with an open slate, wondering what I'm gonna learn today. He could have, I mean, depending on what he wanted to do, have a really complex set of patterns or footwork or shines that he wanted to teach. What he ended up teaching was kind of basics, actually. It was some simple movements, side basics, forward basics with some adjustments in the way we shift our hips and shift our weight. That's all it was, but that's what it was. Right. I could look at that and say, man, this is a basics class. Like, I don't, I'm not going to take a basics class and exit. Or I could sit there complaining about it the whole time and say, oh, you know, why didn't Franklin, like, Franklin Diaz is Franklin Diaz. Why doesn't Franklin teach all the fancy stuff he teaches? No, that's not how I approached it. I, who have at this moment 23 years of experience in this dance, okay, two decades of it professionally. I'm approaching this class and saying, what can I learn? And I'm saying, he's teaching basics. How can I look at this instructor and listen to his words and try and extract as much as I can from this moment? Because this style of dancing is not the way I dance. And that absorption of information, that understanding that I don't know everything allows me to be open to a different style. And it's not to say that I'm going to go out and start dancing and doing, the, doing things the way he taught it. But for the moment that I'm there, I am 100% present as a student, as a completely beginner student trying to absorb as much as I can so that I can perform it at its best in that space. After that, if I want to take and extract some of it and use it in my own dancing, sure. If I want to say, you know what, that's not really comfortable for me. It's not really my style. I don't want to do it. Sure. I can discard it all at the end if I want to. But in that moment, there's no attitude. There's no ego. There's no, oh, you know what? I've been dancing as long as you, so I know as much as you, so I'm going to have this at. No, it is a, a student of like humility. How much can I learn from this person who is clearly skilled at what he does? 
And it doesn't matter that it's the basic. It doesn't matter how much years of experience or what level people would consider me. Point is, I'm approaching it with, there's so much left to learn. And this is an opportunity to learn. And so if I can do that, okay, when I have students, the ones who come in and say, oh, you know, that was easy or whatever. And, and those same people that are in class sitting there saying it's easy, oftentimes when I see them in workshops, they don't have it. Okay. I'm sorry. In your head, you think you got it, but you don't. And if the instructor was actually looking at you and you wanted real feedback, the instructor would probably give you 50 things to work on to improve what it is that you're doing. Because you don't have it the way you think you know it. There's so many things that we don't know that we think we know. And when we approach learning from a place of humility, we get so much more out of that experience. And that's important for all of us to approach. Because I, as a dancer of 23 years, with my experience, if I can step into a class with someone who is a peer in the industry with me, and step into a class and humble myself in front of that person to learn as much as I can, to take his feedback, to listen to him. If he's saying something and looking at me and making a statement that's a correcting statement, I assume it's applied to me. I don't think, oh, well, clearly he can't be talking to me. I'm the best answer here. Look at all my experience. No. In fact, everything he says to correct, I think about, is he, am I doing that too? Let me adjust. Let me check my body and make sure I'm not or make sure I correct myself if I am. So if I can approach a learning experience with my experience in this industry specifically, with that humility, there is absolutely no reason why all of us can't. And there's definitely no reason for those dancers out there who have been dancing for a year or two years who advance from beginner to advanced beginner or intermediate to come into a class and be like, know that, oh, that's a basic class, basic steps. I already know my basics. You don't. I'm sorry. You know, like you don't know as much as you think you know. And there is so much more to learn out there. And you will grow as an individual and as a dancer if you could just open your mind. And we have way too much closed mindedness when we approach learning. We have a fixed mindset, and that is a result of our ego. Uh, that is a result of overconfidence. That is a result of some of those fears and insecurities we might have. And that is also a result of like having clarity, right? In, in whatever it is that we are pursuing, what exactly do I want to do?